Relax, my viewers. Welcome to Super Two Reader Tarot and Sage Advice. Something's on my mind. Something is on my mind. Are you, are you ready for me to express it? Hmm. <sighs> well, it's late at night, my people. It's a quarter to midnight. It's quarter to twelve at night, and um, I have a message I want to share. I did leave a post earlier on the community tab on my channel. Here, Super Trader Troy Sage I Advice. That um, I did feel another message stirring earlier today. So I was very, um, I really am really ready to express this. You know, I want to, I'm ready to deliver this message, right? I'm ready to get it out, okay? So thank you everybody for joining me today. I'm laying here and you can <laughs> see me here in my pajamas with my little pink, my little pink house shoes. Yeah, I'm just resting. So, yeah, um, I've got a message for you guys. Uh, guys, listen, I know there's a lot going on in our world right now, and it's crazy. And I know a lot of people are um, trying to, you know, I know a lot of people are trying to be safe and protect themselves. And I know a lot of people are, um, you know, trying to save money and trying to hunker down and trying to prepare. And I understand that, right? You know, stockpile, prepare, save money, whatever it is, right? Make cuts, anything you need to do to prepare for oncoming tribulation, trouble, whatever it may be. But what I'm getting from many of you out there is that it's actually, it's time for change. It's time for you to change something, change your life. I, I'm really feeling it's time for change. And I think um, in November, you're going to feel the energy stirring real heavy, my viewers. And then in December, it's going to get... I don't want to say you're going to get anxiety, but you're going to feel something really start rising in you. Really start rising and rising and rising in you. It's going to get, it's just going to rise, 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 and rise. Until you just can't ignore it anymore, okay? It's like a, a feeling inside your intuition. It's going to be right in your solar plexus chakra. It's going to be very heavy. It's going to be very strong. It's like in the middle of your gut area. It's going to kind of rumble. And it's, it's going to be your intuition. It's going to be powerful. And it's telling you that it is absolutely time for change. The last thing you did, you know, it, it didn't work. I know the last thing you tried didn't work. I know the last thing you wanted didn't come through. I know the... You know, last opportunity or whatever it was that you reached for, wanted, tried for, didn't come through. But guess what? It's still time for change. It's time for something new. It is absolutely time for something new. It, it, it just is, okay? Um, I feel it. Some of you may be living in a home. You may become nomads. You may say, forget it. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the rat race. I'm tired of the rat race. I'm tired of the bills. You know, I'm tired of my job. I'm tired of everything. I'm tired of the people. I'm tired of being overworked. I'm tired of it. I need, I need out. Some of you are looking for an out. And I'm telling you now, the last time you tried to do something different in your life, it didn't work. It's time for you to make the change here soon. You're going to get the opportunity again to do this. And guess what? It's totally going to work. I just did another video like this on this channel. Um, um, if you scroll through there, try again. This time with Synergy. Uh, check that video that I have here on this channel, right? About trying again with Synergy. Um, this is similar. But this one is about 
absolute. That one is about trying again. This time with collective energy, you know, synergistically. This message is, this message is specifically about change. Everything is going to change. You need to change your job. You need to change what you're eating. You need to change your habits. You need to change your atmosphere. I'm talking a big wheel of fortune, major shift and change in your life. Okay? It's time for something entirely new. It's big. It's risky. It's scary. I know. But it's time to go. It is time to move. It's time to take that action. Think for yourself. You know, think for yourself. Go your own way. You don't go following anybody, okay? You, you, you go your own way. Everybody go that way. Everybody go that way. You go this way. Okay, it is time for you to think for yourself, because what you, whatever you're thinking is what was put there by the universe. Whatever you're thinking is what was put there by spirit. It was put the information, whatever you're feeling and thinking. That was put there by God, by the universe, by spirit. It put that in there for you. It said, listen to me this time. Go your own way. Think for yourself. There's something or someone waiting for you on the other side of fear. Something's waiting for you over there. There's a whole door that's getting ready to open. Some of you are gonna, I told you this on the other, on another video. Some of you need to pack up and actually move and go away from the atmosphere that you're in is sucking the life out of you. It's so sucking, you know, it is just soul sucking. Some of you, your job is soul sucking. It's just killing you. And you won't leave because you said, this is the only way I know how to make money. You know, I know this people is familiar. My family's here. Everything's here, but you're miserable. It's just killing you, killing you slowly, but you won't go. And what's going to happen is if you pick up and go and do the thing that you need to do, guess what? Others will follow. Others will follow. You will be the inspiration. You will be their inspiration. Almost like their messenger. But um, others will definitely follow. Okay? You will be you will be the inspiration and the example that they need to move forward. Okay? There's someone or something waiting for you also. Some of you, if you could just Get the strength up to go. Take that leap of faith. It is time. Everything is changing in your life. And you know what? Listen, my viewers. Everything is changing around you. And some of you are trying to keep it the same. Some of you are trying to maintain the status quo. Some of you are trying to some of you see the change coming. You know the job's getting ready to lay off. You can feel it. You know you can hear the talk. You can hear the lingo. The managers aren't talking to you anymore. The managers aren't emailing you anymore. The managers aren't communicating with you anymore. Nothing's happening. No new assignments. No communication. Nothing. It's like, hmm. It just all just stopped. Right? All of a sudden it just Everything just stopped. Like, what happened? You know what happened? Change. They're getting ready to change. They're going to change everything. And you don't know it. Okay? They're, they're getting ready to change everything. And you don't know it. You're comfortable. You just think that, let me just show up every day and do my job. And let me just show up every day and um, do my job and do the best that I can and they're going to appreciate me and I don't have to worry right I mean those other employees pff, they, they suck they, they have to worry <laughs> you know they can't afford to let me go <laughs> listen to, listen to this there's a 
big change coming, an upheaval. We're talking Wheel of Fortune Tower. Are you guys getting that? All right? It's big, and it is coming to many of you, to your place of employment. Some of you is going to be your apartment complex. Some of you is going to be the area that you're in. It's all getting ready to change. Some of you, your landlord has lost money from other people who wouldn't pay or just had problems and you don't know it. Why? Because nobody's talking, right? Right? So there's nothing to talk about. So you, you nobody's talking and because, because you think that there's nothing to talk about and you think nothing's happening, you think you're safe. No. We've talked about this before. Go your own way. You're supposed to be pressing forward. You're supposed to be doing something different. You're not supposed to be getting comfortable over there. There's a big shift coming and you are being prompted and pushed and prodded by the universe. Please move forward. Go with me, please. Let's go. Let's go this way. Come on. Let's go. And you know it. You can feel. Some of you can feel the tension. Your intuition's like something's wrong. Like you feel the anxiety. You know something's about to happen. But you just keep on doing your thing. And you keep on trying to secure your spot. And you keep on trying to do your thing where you are. As if nothing's going to change. It's all getting ready to change. The way the, way the nation's headed. Lots of changes have to happen in order for people to survive. A lot of companies can't afford to keep people anymore. A lot of these landlords can't afford to keep their business anymore. They can't afford to keep their properties anymore. A lot of them you're going to see for sale signs go up. A lot of them you're going to see property under new under new management all of a sudden. Like, under new management, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know what that is? We couldn't afford to keep the place. So we're going to sell it to somebody else Who's going to redo the leases? Who's going to redo the amount of rent that you pay? Who's going to redo everything? They're going to restructurize the whole thing. And some of you, the area may even get gentrified. Okay? That means we're going to put out a lot of people that are poor. And we're going to push in, renovate, and put in people with, you know, upgrade the whole community. And then raise up the rent. And some of you are going to be like, oh my God, I didn't expect this. No, you didn't because you're trying to get comfortable where you are. Even after the universe has sent you signs, some of you, your job is your first sign that change is coming. Some of you, your first sign is your job. And you know it and you're still ignoring it like it's going to be okay. Everything changes. Everything changes. Today, things change way faster than they used to. Years ago, you could work in a factory for 30 years on eight, nine dollars an hour, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., weekends off, and have enough money to go home and feed your family. Can't do that. Things are different today. Please prepare for change. It is time for you to change, and this time, it's time for you to do something way different than what you're doing now. Some of you, I'm telling you, you're going to become nomads. You're going to decide to maybe live out in the wilderness or live out somewhere different. I don't care if it's the woods. I don't care if it's the, the desert, the forest, whatever you want to call it. Some of you may get campers and RVs or, you know, you, you can get all kinds of different things. And you may pack up and go with people you trust and buddy up and go live somewhere else. Okay? You may change your whole lifestyle. I see some of you learning to like travel more. You're going to free yourselves. Somehow, some of you are literally going to file for bankruptcy. This is a tough message and I'm going to give it. Some of you are literally going to get rid of everything. It's like, I can't handle this. This is too much. I'm not making enough money. You know, I got to let go. Some of you, your employers trying to tell you every day, you know, we don't have enough work. Everybody go home and your paycheck's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You're like, oh my God. What are we going to do? You start getting that panic. The universe is saying, I'm getting ready to free you from all of this. To you, it's going to be a tower moment. Like, oh my God, what just happened here? The universe said, I'm clearing everything out. Clean slate. I'm clearing all this mess out. This is a bunch of mess. This is keeping you from exercising. This is keeping you from eating right. This is keeping you from sleeping. This is keeping you from focusing on your health, running, walking, stretching, 
yoga, calisthenics, whatever you want to call it. Cardio, stretching, meditating. This is keeping you from you. You're putting everything before you. The bills, the car payment, the, the, the house note, the car note, the house payment. You're putting everything before you. Gas, electric, water. Everything comes before you. The universe is getting ready to make a way. So all that, it's got to go. We got to start from a clean slate. Everything is about to change. And for some of you, once you clear out all this stuff that you've been trying to hold on to for the sake of stability, for the sake of what you believe is normalcy, it's all about to go. Because there's something or someone else on the other side of that. Everything changes. Seasons. Age. You get older. Every year you get a year older. If you're 30, you go from 31 to 32 to 33 to 30. You don't stay the same age. Every year you're a year older. Seasons change. Ages change. Looks change. Situations change. Styles change. Everything changes. Cut a piece of fruit and leave it sitting out. Just watch it. Take it out the refrigerator where it's keeping it cool. And keeping it frozen in time. Like in the freezer. Go look in the freezer. Take that food out. Take the fruit out. Put it in the bag. And put it in the freezer. It's frozen in time. Right? Not moving. You leave it in there too long. Even that will change. Correct? Just cut a piece of fruit, put it on the counter, and watch it for about an hour. Get a piece of that's organic. If it's not organic, it'll have some type of chemical on it. Um, preservative. You get a piece that's organic, cut it, and leave it for about a half an hour and come back and look at, look at it. It's going to have a little bit of brown on it. Why? Because it's changing. It's oxidizing right before your eyes. But you haven't changed. Everything changes around you, but you haven't changed. What about desiring something different? What about desiring someone new instead of that same person that you ask about? What if you desire something better? What if you took a chance and desire something new? What if you took a chance on moving to a place that can change a life? Let go of those kids that won't leave the house. When you knew it was time for them to go and they were getting too old to be there, you didn't let them go. Didn't push them forward. Kindly and gently pushed them forward. Some of, some of you have family members that are stagnant. They're not moving. Psh, not me, not today. They're staying right there. Some of you got people that are keeping you stagnant. And you know who you are. I'm talking grown adults, not babies and children. No, no, no. That's different. They need your care. That's not stagnancy. That's responsibility. And you take it in stride. The time will come. And you can take them with you if you need to go. I'm talking about some of you have grown people in your home and they're not doing anything or going anywhere. They won't leave the house. When you knew it was time for them to go. Some of you have to let go of friends, of family members. Some of you have family members that call with the same gossip or the same story. Oh, my God. Here we go again. Didn't we just talk about this the other day? Didn't we just talk about this last week? Didn't we talk about this the week before? It's the, same, yeah, it's the same conversation. And it just goes round and round and round and round. It just never stops. Every time they call you, they got the same conversation. And you know what it is? Listen, they don't even really care about that. You know why they're calling you? They're just checking to see if you're still around. They're just checking to see if you're still around and making sure that you haven't gotten the guts to move into your destiny. They're making sure that you ain't moving into your destiny. They're making sure you ain't picking up and doing something different. They're calling you to make sure you still the same as you were. Whew, they haven't done anything. Okay. Whew. I knew they weren't going to do nothing. That's what they tell themselves. So they're calling to make sure you don't move. They're calling to make sure of where you are. They're really just spying. Some of them, do they love you? Of course they love you. Do they care? Of course they care. But a lot of times those same people are just making sure you don't go anywhere. 
They're calling to make sure you're still where you are, making sure you don't leave, and making sure you have making sure you haven't changed your life. Making sure you're the same person that you were to talk to a year ago, a year before, and a year before. They're making sure you're still there where you were and you haven't changed your life. That's really why they're calling. You just don't know it. Same gossip, same story. Just checking to make sure you're still around and then you haven't gotten the gumption to move into your, your destiny. That's why you really hear from them. Sometimes it's nothing other than that. They don't want nothing. You ever call some, hear somebody call you? Somebody call you and say, what do you want? Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. I ain't doing nothing. No, they just making sure you haven't done anything. They're making sure your butt ain't gone. they make sure your butt ain't gone nowhere. They want to make sure that you are just as comfortable and stagnant as they are. You know, they say misery loves company, but they just making sure you don't move forward. Because if they call you one day, <clears throat> excuse me, if they call you one day, and you say, well, you know, I think I'm going to move. Or I think I'm going to go travel a little bit. You know, for about three weeks, I'm just going to go travel and go stay at some places. Or, you know, I don't have a lot of money to go around. I just got a little bit. I just want to go away for a little while and just see what else is out there. And they're, 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 they're going to get nervous. <laughs> you know, they're going to get nervous. Because they're used to you being there and nothing else happening in your life. And they breathe a sigh of relief knowing that they're not the only one stuck in their situation. Whew. Whew. Not just me, they say this. So. <laughs> okay. Spirit says, I'm about to loose some of you. Spirit says, I'm about to lose some of you. I'm about to lose you. Because the pandemic is keeping things from happening for certain people, don't think I won't make a way for you. Don't think that. Spirit says, don't you think I won't make a way for you? Okay? I know there's a pandemic, but don't think I won't make a way for you. I got a plan. Okay? I got secret paths. I got secret paths. I got secret ways. I got directions. I got paths. I got directions. I got ways. And I got connections. They don't know about. They think they know, but they don't. They don't know because they're not consulting me like you are. Spirit says, great spirit says, be quiet about it and think of me often. When you get up in the morning, think of me first. When you go to bed at night, think of me last. Put me first and put me last on your mind. Did you get that? Great Spirit, but Great Spirit is telling you people, my people out there, my people. Great Spirit says, think of me first and think of me last. I'm going to be downloading some information into your crown chakra. I'm going to download it right in there. Information, ideas, people, connections. I want you to stay in touch with me, Great Spirit says. Watch how I work. Watch how I work. Okay, I'm getting ready to loose you from your situation. You won't see it coming. You won't see it coming. You say, well, I didn't know there was money. I didn't know I could get money for that. I didn't know I could get extra for that. I didn't know that there were resources for that. I didn't know that. Grace Press, Grace Press says, I know. Making a way for you. Just, just go with me on this, Grace Press says. Making a way for you. Next time they talk to you, they go, say, how'd she do that? She don't have no money. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, because they expected you.
to stay stuck. Watch how it works. Just watch. Just watch and see what the great and mighty spirit has planned for you. It's got a plan for you. It's got something planned. You're getting ready to move. Listen, you're getting ready to be loosed. You're getting ready to be loosed from that situation. You're not going to see it coming. You're not going to... You can maybe be loosed out of that. That stuck, stagnant place. That job. The working you have to death. No resources. Watch and see. That great spirit doesn't drop some ideas in your head. You say, oh, that's a good idea. I didn't even think of that. Great spirit says, just what you watch. Your inspiration is about to stir. It's all coming. Just stay focused. Stay focused. Okay? You're going to get those calls. You're going to go into doubt. You're definitely going to go into fear. You're going to go into worry. It's okay. Grace Spirit says, I understand that. It's part of the process. You'll, you'll go back and forth in that for a little while. Okay? But if you listen to me, and listen to the intuition. Listen to the downloads. Accept the downloads that I'm giving you. The information. The ideas. Okay. You're going to see things move in your life. And you never expected these things to move. You never expected to get out of the things that you're in. How did I get out of this? It's magic. Just wait. Lastly, before I go, my people, I uh, was talking to a gentleman today. Um, I was looking up some some courses, some a couple of things that I'd like to study. A um, couple of little things I'd like to study. You know, just a few little things I'd like to learn. And I happened to call this particular place, this particular school. Something led me to call this place. Something led me to call this place. I said, why am I feeling led to call this particular place? So I called it and I talked to this particular person, this particular advisor. And when I spoke to this person, um, he gave me information, tips, tricks, stuff that I never knew. Oh my God. If I hadn't have talked to him. And I had talked to some other random advisor or some other random random person. I never would have gotten that information. But because I followed my intuition and went in the direction I was led to go, I got to this individual and I got this information and I could feel that it was different. It was special. It was, it was divine. I knew it. I said, oh, this is divine. It's like by, it was by divine order. And I just sat quietly and I listened. And before we got off the phone, I said, this information was great. Do you know how long I told him? I said, do you know how long I've been looking for this information? I couldn't get a straight answer from anyone. I told him, I said, do you know how long I've been looking to get these answers, this information about these, you know, these subjects, these things that I was studying, some financial information. I said, do you know how long I've been researching this? He says it was by divine connection, you know, that I was meant to give you this today. He said, you know what? He said, I feel very blessed talking to you today. He said, it was, it was a blessing talking to you today. He says, I just feel it. I feel it. He said, it was, it was meant to be. I had chills. I had absolute chills. Ooh, I got a chill from it. Don't you guys love that? And I said, I love that. I love when that happens. So it was by divine order that I was sent to this particular school to talk to this particular person that just happened to be there because the person that normally answers the phone wasn't available. So I got routed to this other gentleman instead. And he said, by divine order, he felt like he's, he felt as if it was divine order that I was sent to him and I knew it. It, it was amazing. It was an absolute blessing 
talking to you today. He said, I can feel it. And guess what? I can feel it too. The information was phenomenal. It is information that you would have to pay to get. Are you guys getting that? He said, you take this information down. You make these changes. You call these numbers. You get this help. You call these people. And you're going to get what you need. And I thought, oh my God. This is such a blessing. <laughs> you know. It was by divine order. So please listen to your intuition. It's getting ready to guide you to the right people in the right places to make the right connections to get the things that you need. And it's going to be step by step. And it's not going to be people that you normally talk to. It's going to be by divine order. And you're going to see change. Spirit says, I'm trying to help you change. Okay, I'm trying to help you change your life here. Everything's going to change. Just follow me and listen to my instructions because it's time for your life to change. Be ready. Be strong. Be calm. Get prepared. Be forewarned. Your life's about to change. You're going to get information about resources. Places, people, money. You're going to get things that didn't seem like they're out there for everyone else to just reach and grab. Somehow, it's just going to be something that you just happen to look up and find. It's set aside for you. It's like a remnant. It's hidden for you, just for you. Universe just knows who to guide you to. Just like you watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed this, my viewers. Your life's about to change, my people. Just know that, okay? Everything's about to change. Trust your instincts. They are truly guiding you in the right place. And even if it sounds crazy, if it sounds ridiculous, like, that is crazy, I can't do that. No, that's the thing. That's the thing, okay? That's the thing. Go in that direction. Listen to your intuition. It should be a good, positive, still, small voice. And it should feel, um, you should feel a very positive, um, enthusiastic burst of, um, Almost like energy, but it should feel good. It should stir right in the middle of your chest. Right in your heart chakra area. And your intuition and your gut is going to tell you, yeah, that's the thing. That's the one. That's the place. That's the person. Go there. Listen to it. Okay? And go. Go. Go on your destiny. I'm your host, Super Tea Reader. I hope you've enjoyed this message today because your life is about to change. Okay? If you just follow your instincts. No matter how crazy they sound. Before we go, I want to tell you to relax, my viewers. Once again, I'm Super T Reader, and this is Super T Reader Draw and Sage Advice. I will see you again. Good night, everybody.